This is a CBS 4 News update. Hi, I'm Francis Wang with your CBS 4 News update. One of our latest residents in Florida to die from the virus is an 11 year old girl. The Broward County Medical Examiner says Yancy Ayala died from COVID-19 on Wednesday. She did have many underlying health conditions. Ayala is one of 120 people in Florida who died in the latest report released yesterday from the Department of Health. It's the highest single day death toll, part of more than 4,100 deaths since March. The latest effort to slow the spread is in effect in Miami-Dade County, having inside a restaurant this weekend is not allowed. It's outdoor dining only, and that could last for a while. Miami Data is seeing its highest coronavirus positivity rate as deaths in the state also reach a record. The latest numbers show 33% of people tested in the county were positive. County leaders want the rate to be less than 10. The county is also getting 250 more contact tracers who will work through the end of the year. Meanwhile, Florida Governor DeSantis is doubling down on his push for schools to reopen next month. He says in person Person education is essential, and if retail stores are open, schools should be too. Earlier this week, the Florida Education Commissioner ordered all campuses open in the fall, but Miami-Dade says it will not open schools unless the county is in phase two. Broward School says they also do not see a path for schools being fully open. Also happening today, President Trump making a South Florida stop. He'll visit U.S. Southern Command in Doral this afternoon for an update on efforts to stop drug trafficking. The president also expected to meet with Venezuelan dissidents and attend a private fundraiser in Broward County before leaving South Florida later tonight. In other news, the Fort Lauderdale police chief has been removed. 30-year veteran Karen Dietrich is the new interim chief, replacing Rick Maglione. This move comes as Fort Lauderdale officers have been in the spotlight for actions during recent protests. One officer was seen shoving a kneeling protester. Another accused of shooting a demonstrator in the head with a rubber bullet. The city manager says this decision was not prompted by one particular incident. Maglione is being permitted to remain on the force, but his new role has not been announced. Now, CBS4 weather. Welcome to the weekend. Happy Friday. A warm, steamy start with a low to mid 80s out there. A mix of sun and clouds and dry in Broward and Dade County. We've had some showers and some storms across parts of the Keys so far this morning. But the big story today, the dangerous heat. High soar to the mid to upper 90s. It's going to feel like the hundreds when you factor in the humidity and the heating of the day could help to fuel some scattered storms. But again, the heat advisory is in effect from noon until 8 p.m. because max heat indices, what it feels like, could be up to 105 to 109 degrees, so stay safe, stay hydrated, try to stay cool in the shade and the air conditioning when possible. Sizzling summary with highs in the low to mid 90s through the weekend. Let's say thank you. That is our news for now. You can always find us on CBSMiami.com and CBS4 News at 5, 6, 7, and 11 for all of today's important headlines.